is how you massage your bunny. Look how relaxed he is. Such an awesome little buddy. Relax. Does this relax you? Do you like being play like this? Do you like it here? Do you like it here? Yeah. And then little cheeks being rubbed. Yeah. He is eating it up. He's a kind of an order bunnies. He's mellow. He's a mellow little 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 boy, but sometimes he gets little bursts of energy, but he's most for the most part he's on the mellow side, aren't you? You're mellow, yeah. Mellow little buddy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's zoning out. You're zoning out, aren't you? Yeah. You join your little buddy massage. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he ate good today. I picked him some fresh dill. I have two dill plants growing, especially for my bunny. And it's his favorite herb. It's dill. It's very picky. He does not like cilantro. He likes dill. Yeah, he's a lover of dill. And he even has his own favorite lettuce. He mostly likes the romaine lettuce. Yeah. Yeah, he's super, super picky right now. He's eating the dill faster than I can grow it to keep up with his appetite for the fresh dill. Actually, fresh dill... It's very healthy. It's an anti-inflammatory. So it's really good for this bunny who also is a little arthritic. So it so feel really, really good. Because his joints feel better. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it makes you feel better, right? Yeah. Yeah. And another thing he likes is uh, papaya treats. Yeah. You enjoy the dried papaya treats, right? Yeah. And it's funny because people that don't own bunnies don't realize this one here is so, so responsive. You talk to him, you call him. All right, it's so it's so cute. You call him and he comes. I'm like, I have some dill for you, buddy. Come get your dill. And he comes ambling over for his dill, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. And when they sleep, they will sleep a few minutes in one position and then they move and sleep in another position. They keep moving around as they sleep. Yeah, it's like, I'll look at him, he'll be one spot, I'll leave the room, I'll come back. He could be in a totally different spot. And it might be something inborn, you know, in them for, to help them evade predators, or, I don't know, just like to change position, I don't know, something about, and, and also they, it's sunrise and sunset are when they're the most active. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Are you relaxed yet? Are you relaxed yet? Yeah. Your ear. <laughs> oh, I wasn't supposed to touch the ear. I'm sorry.
They are very picky about where you touch them. Today he don't want his ear touched. Usually he don't care, but today the ear is off limits. Okay, I understand. Okay, it's all right. I got it. I got it. I get it. I get it. He wants the nose rub. See? He wants me now. Yeah. <laughs> shed and see little hairs flying everywhere. It's actually very healthy for them to brush them so they don't ingest that hair. You cannot cough up the hairballs like a cat so it can be very dangerous for them to ingest the hair. So I've got to get that hair and get it off of them before they swallow it. Right? Yeah. Tell everybody bye-bye. We'll be back again.